Stoney is Post Malone's debut album released on December 9th of 2016, containing amazing singles like White Iverson, Congratulations, and Go Flex. Now, Stoney was no beer bongs and Bentleys, but it was definitely better than Hollywood's Bleeding. But for me, this album has so much nostalgia because I listened to this album all 2017 on repeat. And I actually found Post Malone's music through Mr. T Lexify because in one of his videos, White Iverson was playing in the background and I just fell in love with Post Malone. And guys, this album was terrible trying to rank. Starting off with number 18, we have Hit This Hard. Yeah, this song goes hard if you're at a silent disco party. This song is actually pretty weird, and that's saying a lot since a lot of the songs in this album are pretty weird. But for me, I just feel like this song is so, like, EDM. It, it's really odd. Now, number 17, Broken Whiskey Glass. Why does this song sound like I'm about to have a shootout outside of the OK Corral with my six shooter with tumbleweeds rolling around in the background? Why is this song just noises? It's literally like... It if I had to explain Texas in one song, it would be this song. Never mind. This song is actually number 18, not Hit This Hard. I like Hit This Hard more than this song. Number 16, White Iverson. I love this song, and I'm actually pretty sure this was the first song that I ever heard from Post Malone. Again, like I already said, I, I listened to it when it was in Mr. T Lexify as one of his stream highlights, and I, I really do like this song a lot, but for me, it is probably one of the most overplayed songs i've ever listened to number 15 leave i don't know i love this song but i definitely love other songs way more number 14 is cold i actually love cold this is like the type of song that you listen to when you're like angry and sad at the same time it's a really good song and i remember back in the day the song used to be called five cold but now all all the on all over on the videos on youtube it's called cold now which is really weird number 13 deja vu this is pretty much the only song justin bieber has ever been in and it actually sounded good and this song is also what kind of sparked the whole all the videos that are if you play justin bieber slow in slow Oh man, words are hard. Playing Justin Bieber's slow sounds like Post Malone. And I just remember those videos getting millions of views and, and always seeing them in my recommended. Number 12, I Fall Apart. Dude, I have so much nostalgia for this song. Back in 2017, I was, I was in my feels about something. And I remember just sitting in my office chair, slouched down like this, listening to it over and over on repeat. And I was just... I don't want to go into what I was sad about, but I was so sad, man. And oh, uh, that it's a, like such a good memory now that I think out, think back about it because man, 2017 just hit different. Number 11, Go Flex. Now I don't really have much to say about this song besides in the music video, it has that one hot girl from Teens React, dude. I used to be so in love with her. I think her name is like me, Mia Laree Johnson or something. Oh my God, I loved her. I remember you when i was like nine years old she was like 16 and i was like man i really wish i was her age <laughs> number 10 money made me do it uh i love this song there's not much to say here this is actually a really hype song to listen to number nine too young i really hate doing this but this is just another song that i don't have much to say for but if the song wasn't so repetitive this would have definitely been higher up on the list but too young is a great song number eight big lie Big Lie is just one of those overlooked songs of the album, and it's actually the second track, and it's such an underrated song. I never hear people talk about Big Lie at all, but it's a great song, and you know, that's why it's coming in at number eight. Number seven, Patient. Basically, this is Too Young, but without all the repetition. I don't know why, but Too Young and Patient, I always get mixed up together, and maybe it's because I, in my head, they're just similar songs, but Patient is definitely one of the best songs on the album number six congratulations this was my hype song back in 2017 back then i would listen to this song on repeat to hype myself up before making videos and i just all 
Oh man, I miss this so much. And I actually used to play this on all my zombie streams. And I would, I, I remember getting them all getting copyrighted, but I was like, man, it was worth it. And that will kind of always be such a pleasant memory for me because 2017 was the start of my YouTube channel. And we're, by the way, we're coming up on three years, which is so amazing. Number five up there. I love this song. I actually barely ever heard this song before. I listened to it a few so times, but in summer of 2019, I listened to it while going for a run and I was like, whoa, this song is like good. And it's like one of those songs that you overlook for a long time that you heard before, but just listen to again. I'm like, man, I love this song. So that's definitely a good memory for me. It's one of the few things I remember about 2019, actually. Number four, yours truly, Austin Post. This song has just one of the songs that aged so well, and it really throws me back to watching COD Zombie YouTubers stream back in like 2017 and 2016. And man, I do miss that so much. Number three, Feeling Whitney. It's just another one of those songs in Post Malone's album that are just so smooth and they stand out so much and they're so different from all the other songs. Yeah, Hit This Hard is pretty awful because of the EDM stuff. But Feeling Whitney really stands out and it's such a country vibe and it's so poetic and emotionally feels so real. And speaking of feel, number two is feel. This is another song that went completely under my radar and I loved it so much he hearing it again and I was in my feels about something at the beginning of school this year but then I'm out of my feels now so I'm all good but I actually love feels so much and the girl who features in the song Kalani she's actually a really good artist too now number one I really had no option other than no option that wasn't funny yeah I deserve to end my channel after that joke. I am very sorry. But this song is just so amazing. This was one of the original songs from Post Malone that I listened to on repeat other than White Iverson. No Option has always been like a throwback song for me. I listened to No Option all throughout 2017, 2018, 2019, and probably 2022. And, uh, not 2022, 2020, T-O-O. -O. But man, I just love that song so much and I will probably listen to it throughout all of time. It's oh, it's just so incredible to me. Anyways, guys, that wraps up the last ranking album from Post Malone video. And if you guys want me to rank more songs from other artists, I would definitely be willing to do it. I just don't know how I would do it because a real big thing for me with making this was based off of nostalgia, okay? The reason why I did, I continued with beer bongs and Bentleys is because there was so much nostalgia between every single song in that album and there's nostalgia for the stony too and not hollywood's bleeding hollywood's bleeding i just did that for fun but then it segued into this but i was i don't really have nostalgia from other albums besides life of a dark rose by lil sky so if you guys do want me to rank more albums from other people definitely tell me if you want to okay because i would love to do it again anyways guys if you did enjoy watching it would mean a lot if you left a like comment and subscribe you know just comment your how you would make this list because i'm always interested in that anyways guys i love you all thank you so much for watching and peace Yeah.